Hi everyone, I wanted to share a quick update to the way in which machines are created, edited and visualized within Fusion 360. This update offers some significant advantages over the initial implementation and paves the way for us to build more complicated machines such as lathes, mill turns and even robots which were previously not possible. Firstly, as part of the October release, the Machine V2 feature flag will be turned on by default for all users. What this means is a refreshed UI with some subtle yet powerful changes under the hood. To kick us off, you'll notice that you now have the ability to customize the machine image right from within the machine builder. Great for seeing at a glance which machine is which, especially where machines have the same name or similar naming conventions. Next, you'll notice that the kinematics have been split out into their own area. This means it's now clearer how you go about adding, deleting or reordering kinematic chains. This update also makes it easier to specify around which axis the rotational component rotates. And as a result, multiple options have been added for the orientation of a rotary axis. Prior to this, a user had to enter the rotary axis vector for even the most common of orientations. Now, a user can simply select what axis their rotary rotates around. A good example here is a user with an A axis would have needed to enter a 1, 0, 0 in the vector option to get their axis configured. Now, they simply just select around X to specify the rotational axis. Furthermore, static parts can now be defined inside of the kinematic chain. These will be selectable inside of the machine builder and will be collision checked in the future. Next, we split out various advanced options into their own category and applied sensible defaults to them. They're easily discoverable by opening the advanced settings within each of the sections. It's important to note that as part of this October release, you will be prompted to update your machine simulation files to this newer format. This is normal and will upgrade your machine kinematics file to the new format and push that update to the physical CAD file of your machine as well. Should you for any reason need to revert back to the old method, we have created a handy guide which can be found in the description below. We would love further feedback on this, just in case we missed something. So hit us up on the forums and let us know. And lastly, before I go, just a sneak peek, but although not currently supported, this new update lays the groundwork for us to create far more complex machines, which may include things like lathes, mill turn machines, and even robots. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. From me, cheers.